What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now before I get this video started, I just want to start off by saying that I do own a pre-built computer that I am very happy with, but I have had several pre-built computers that have gone horribly wrong, and so has my brother. So I do, I know enough uh, based on my experiences to some degree at least to uh, give you guys some information on this. And really the point of this video is for, it's probably going to be geared more towards like, novices and, and people who really don't have too much information in this space. This, is, this video is going to be to help you make an informed decision on whether you should go with a pre-built or not. And um, particularly with Amazon. If you're going to purchase one on Amazon or with Walmart. So the quick story here, and, and I wasn't going to do this video uh, for a while, but I felt the need to do it now because my brother just purchased a, well, he purchased it a month ago, uh, this $3,000 Mantis CUK gaming computer. Um, and this was a, su a suggestion from me because he didn't want to build one, and I did buy a gaming computer off Amazon and had a good experience with it. He, he just received it today, but it, it came broken. And it has to go back now and it's this whole big thing if he ever actually gets the video up about because he wanted to do an unboxing and a video for this particular gaming computer if that ever comes out you'll get some more information on what exactly happened i don't want to go into too much detail but let's just say he ordered it a month ago had to wait all this time because these it has an nvidia rtx uh, 3080 in it and it's very hard to get that particular graphics card so it took a, a whole month for him to get it he finally gets this thing today and the, the graphics card, um, I guess either this thing was dropped or weight shifted because this graphics card is a heavy card. And maybe with the weight shifting around or who knows what, the graphics card bent to the side. It almost, it looks like it, because I've only seen an image of it, a picture that he sent me, but it looks like it pulled the PCIe slot out of the motherboard to the point where like you can't even fix it. So there was uh, styrofoam packaging inside this thing but uh, apparently it didn't do enough of a job to, to prevent damage and he's very upset and I'm really upset. Uh, I'm so heated right now and furious over it because this was a, a suggestion that I gave him because I bought a gaming computer on Amazon and I had no issues. So I'm thinking, all right, if you want a pre-built, go with one on Amazon. It was very expensive, but it had all the kind of cool things that he wanted and sure enough, it didn't work out. All right, so let's jump into the three reasons why you should not buy a pre-built gaming computer. And the first reason is that it may not come correct. I've read, read a lot of things on the internet about people receiving, uh, whether it be cyber power or iBuy power or an HP Omen or whatever, they receive their gaming computer and a wire is not connected properly or you know it's got faulty hardware. Before I got the gaming computer I have now, a cyber power, I bought a pre-built gaming PC from Walmart. That was a stupid mistake. I did a video on it. It was a really bad idea. The first one that I, that I got, it, it came working correctly. But over the course of four days, the graphics card in it died. So I had to send the thing back. And then when I got the second one, it wasn't working at all. Uh, there was wires that were disconnected. I tried messing around with it a little bit. I couldn't get it figured out. And I'm like, you know what? This thing is not supposed to come not functioning. So I ended up sending that one back. And then finally, I went on Amazon. This was last September. And I found my, my cyber power, um, a better cyber power, a more expensive one, but with better hardware and stuff inside it. And that one came working just fine. And I've had it for several months now, and it's been great. But there's a chance that when you buy a pre-built gaming computer, it doesn't matter where it's from, that they didn't do uh, the right thing when putting it together that something is like either the RAM is not slotted correctly or wires are not connected correctly. Just know that when you buy a pre-built gaming PC, you're taking a big risk that it's not gonna come right out of the box, that you may turn this thing on and nothing happens, or it may work for a few days and then the power supply dies or the RAM craps out or the graphics card burns out or whatever the case may be. Um, it doesn't matter what gaming PC you buy pre-built. There's always a chance that they didn't because these things are mass produced and they're, they're assembling them very quickly using parts that, you know, they get at a discount. So there's, there's really no guarantee. Um, you should get one that works right, but don't be surprised if you don't. All right, number two 
is that yes, you can piece these things together and build your own and save money. Now, if you have the skill or you know someone who can do it, uh, I'll, I'll show a website right here. There's, there's a website, um, there's all kinds of them that you can buy these pieces, you know, the case and the power supply and the graphics card, the processor, all the things that you need and you can save money. Now, this isn't always the case. Like, uh, the reason I bought that first computer at Walmart, I was walking around the store and I saw this thing for $1,000 and I saw all the stuff inside it was pretty decent stuff. And for the money, I'm like, I really don't know if I could build one that comes, you know, that will be about $1,000 with the kind of stuff that this thing has inside it. Um, but more often than not, if you know what you're doing and you're careful and you shop around, you can buy all the things that you need and, and save a buck or two. Most of the time, you're, you're gonna be spending more money to have this thing come pre-assembled. And keeping this video as short as possible, number three, and this is the big one, there's a, a very good chance that this thing will not survive the shipping process. So what happened with my brother is obviously somewhere during transit, uh, somebody dropped it, kicked it, who knows, but it was most li likely assembled properly when it left wherever it came from. But during the process of, of it getting to his house, uh, it, it got damaged. And you know, I, I hear this all the time and I see this all the time that uh, these, these people who deliver, you know, through UPS and FedEx or whatever, they don't give a shit. Nobody cares. You know, you think like, it's pretty obvious this is a computer. It's a gaming computer, it's fragile, be careful with it. And sure enough, uh, this thing that my brother was waiting for a full month for, he was so excited to get it, I was excited for him, and the freaking thing came broken. So, you know, again, the overall message here is if you're gonna buy a pre-built gaming PC, the chances of something going wrong between you ordering it and it getting to your house and getting out of the box is very high. Uh, sure, there are plenty of people who purchase a pre-built and they get it and it works fine. Others get it working out of the box and a few weeks or a month later, it craps out. Most likely, if you get one and it's working and it makes it through the first couple months, you're good to go. You should be. Uh, the one I have has been solid. I haven't had a single problem with my cyber power uh, since I got it, but it was the third attempt. I mean, I did buy the, the cyber power computer I got at Walmart. The first one came working and then it, cr it failed. The second one showed up not working at all. And then finally I switched over to Amazon thinking, okay, maybe I'll have a better shot buying a cyber power computer from Amazon. And it did in fact work. Uh, and I found out after the fact, no, do not buy a computer from Walmart. Don't do it. Um, they just have a very bad reputation for their computers not working, uh, especially when you buy one from, from Walmart. Um, there's so many different pre-builds you can go with. Uh, like I said, my brother went with the Mantis CUK. Um, I forget the exact model number, but it's a beast of a machine. It looks really nice. Um, if it worked properly, it would be amazing, but it didn't survive the shipping process. And now he has to go through this whole big thing with, with Amazon of trying to send it back. He bought the computer and it took a month to receive it. Now he's trying to return it and ex well, exchange it, you know, just send it back and have them send another one. And they're, they're saying that they, they can't do that. If he, he's going through the app and it's, it's telling him there's no exchange for this thing, that he has to send it back and he can't even go to like a Kohl's and drop it off for free. He's now got to go to a UPS, which is going to cost like 40 to 50 bucks minimum to send it back and then get his money back. So he's going to incur a 40 to $50 fee just for attempting to buy something, it's insane. And not only that, it, this happened on a Friday, Friday evening, he can't even get in touch with anyone to call anybody until next Monday. It's, it's ridiculous. The fact that Amazon is this huge company and my bro can't even talk to somebody right now to try and resolve this and get some peace of mind. He's gotta wait till the weekend and see if he can either, he's gonna try and contact either the manufacturer, he's gonna, because he got a replacement plan uh, on this machine. So there should be a way for him to get one that works. But now the problem is that these NVIDIA 30 line, the 37, 3060, 3070, 3080, 3090, these are all, first of all, they're very expensive now. They're getting marked up more and more and they're very hard to get. When my brother purchased this computer a month ago, it was around three grand. I told him, all right, well, listen, if you can't exchange this thing, just send it back and order a new one and they'll refund your money. By the time you drop this thing off at UPS, it takes like a day or two, you'll have your money back, right? He's got plenty of money, he can afford it. 
Well, in the month that has gone by, this gaming computer has gone up 500 bucks. So it's, it's ridiculous. He's in a really uh, bizarre situation here and I feel really bad for him because um, I kind of suggested it to him. But yeah, uh, that's the quick story. He's hopefully gonna get this thing eventually or if he, can't, if he cannot get the uh, one he ordered, get a, a new one or what have you, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and have him order all the parts and I'll put it together. I know enough that I can build my own if I have to. I'm just lazy um, and you know, I've never done it before, but I'm tech savvy enough that I can probably figure it out. You know, for myself, me personally, uh, yeah, uh, I, I should have known better and you know, being in the, in the tech space somewhat, I've been warned by many people and I'm, I'm, so many people say, oh, pre-built or nothing, pre-built or nothing. I used to say, well, you know, you don't have to do a pre -built. you don't have to build your own, you could buy a pre-built. I mean, shit, what's the problem with getting pre-built? Well, I was kind of wrong there. Uh, you're taking a gamble, you're taking a huge risk, so weigh out your options. Understand that if you, if you buy a pre-built computer, especially if it's one that looks like a good value for the money, there's a chance that it could come working and everything's fine, but there's also a very good chance that you're gonna get one that does not. So if you're not willing to play these games where you gotta send it back, and wait for the next one to come, or send that one back, and or whatever the case may be, uh, build your own, learn how to do it, or find a professional who can you know, take all the parts that you've purchased and assemble one uh, for you. So that's it, I wanted to keep this one short and simple. Really nothing else that I have to say in the matter other than uh, pre-builds. There's three, these were three very common sense things but you, you, you tend not to think about, you know, you tend not to think about it. Like, it should come working, you know, like anything else. But with the amount of stuff that's inside, uh, it's just, it's so, they're so fragile. You know, you gotta be so careful with these things and the shipping process is by far the, the main issue, you know, the, where the most problems can occur. Um, even the, the ones that I got, even, even this one that worked, the, the box was damaged. It had like, uh, it looked like someone kicked it or it was dropped. It was like the side of it was kind of squished a little bit. And I'm like, oh no, here we go. Uh, but thankfully I got lucky and it's been great for me up until now. I am gonna do a video on cyber power uh, soon on whether or not those computers are worth it and is it a good brand. So um, I think you know where my head's at with that, but uh, you never know. I mean, I have had, uh, I, I did have a few issues with cyber power and I have been looking at uh, posts online and going through forums and stuff like that and trying to see what other people are experiencing with cyber power. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Any questions you have, just ask and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And if you do get a pre-built, if you go that way, good luck. This is a very difficult time right now to get a computer. The, the, the costs are just insane. When I got mine at the end of September 2020, I spent $1,400 to get um, this CyberPower computer with an i7-9900K processor. It had 16 gigs of RAM. It had an NVIDIA RTX 2070 SuperCard, uh, a one terabyte solid state drive. Well, by Christmas uh, 2020, the thing had shot up to two grand, and then it just kept going higher and higher. Now I think it's almost 2,500, 3,000 for a similar model. The, the, the costs are just off the wall. So um, be, if, you're, if you can be patient and wait it out, you might want to wait until things settle down a bit because right now it's just, the market is so volatile for gaming computers. Uh, but yeah, so that's gonna do it for this one, guys. If, if you like my stuff, if you like my content, please hit that like button so YouTube knows to suggest it to others and subscribe, of course, uh, because I don't just do tech stuff, I do uh, video games and you know live streams and all kinds of cool stuff. And then, uh, yeah, leave some comments if you have any questions. That's, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. So I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, good luck if you get a pre-built, but my suggestion is if you can avoid it and you know what you're doing, obviously build your own. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy. We'll see you on the next one. Be good.